Hey Oak Ridge Middle, hope everybody's doing well. This book I'm going to read for you um, is Jacqueline Woodson's Harbor Me. It is by the same author as um, Brown Girl Dreaming. So if that's a book you enjoyed in the past, you might like this one also. Read chapter one, it's a short chapter, so you might want to check and do it if this one looks good. I have not read this one yet. All right, it starts off. We think they took my pappy. It's over now, or maybe it isn't. Maybe even as I sit on my bed in the dying light of the late afternoon, it's beginning again. Maybe Miss Laverne is looking over the new class list, her finger moving down the row of names. Maybe her, she's thinking, and him, and her. But it won't be the same. It won't ever be the six of us together again. We think they took my pappy. My uncle is a musician and a storyteller. He says the hardest part of telling a story is finding the beginning. I've pulled the voice recorder from my closet and have it sitting in the middle of my bed now. When I press play, Esteban's voice fills my room. It is scratchy and far away sounding. But still, Esteban is here again, and all of us are sitting in our small circle in a place we call the ARTT room. Nobody knows where he's at. Outside, a blue jay perches on the edge of a branch. A lanathus tree, tree of heaven. Miss Laverne taught us that. It's the same tree the girl in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn saw from her fire escape. The thing about that tree was it could grow anywhere and keep growing. And that was the metaphor, that even when they got really hard for everyone in that story, even when the dad died and the mom had to scrub more and more floors to make money, even when the kids didn't have anything to eat for days and the apartment was freezing, the tree kept growing. The main character, her name was Francie, she was like that tree. Miss Laverne said that all of us, Esteban, Tiago, Holly, Amory, Ashton, and even me, were like the tree too. My uncle's moving out tomorrow. He's really the only parent I've ever known. He says, this is a beginning. He says, now you'll have two houses to go to. He says, you're 12 now, Hallie. You're ready. But I'm not ready. That this afternoon, I miss everything. I miss my uncle, even though he's upstairs packing. I miss the ARTT room. I miss Holly and Amari arguing and Ashton pushing his hair away from his forehead. This afternoon, I miss Tiago's dream of the sea and Esteban's poems and all the stories we finally trusted each other enough to tell. I miss the beginning of our story together and the deep middle of it. Once there were six of us. Once we were circled around each other and listened. Or maybe what matters most is that we heard. Downstairs, my father is playing the piano. Soft, sad notes floating up from the living room. The piano is old, found on the street a few blocks away the day my father moved back home. My father, uncle, and three other men lifted it up to the stairs, then had to remove the door to get it inside. It's an upright, stretched wood and yellowing keys. My father took a whole day tuning it, and now the notes move through the house, dipping down at the end like tears, rising up like a prayer. Upstairs, I can hear my uncle moving from dresser to bed and back again, and I think he is neatly folding shirts and sweaters into his suitcase. Most of his stuff is already downstairs. Boxes line the hall by the front door. His favorite chair is draped with a blanket. His guitars are stacked in their cases beside it. Tomorrow, he will move to Manhattan and start his new life. I'll be the bachelor I always meant to be, he said. Then, seeing the look on my face, I failed at hiding, he added. And I'll be back every single Sunday to spend time with my most favorite person in the world. I don't remember a life without my uncle in it. In two weeks, I'll be in seventh grade. My best friend Holly will be there. But there will be holes where Ashton, Amari, Tiago and Esteban once were. We think they took my pappy. I play the first words of Esteban's story over and over as my father's songs lifts up to my room, as my uncle packs above me, as the blue jay perches in the elanthus tree, as the world keeps on spinning. Just a quick mention, each time that I said we think they took my pappy, that part was in italicis, so it's kind of like a separate note from the rest of it. So I'm not really sure what happened to Pappy, but you should probably read on to find out.
Again, the name was Harbor Me by Jacqueline Woodson.